Well, I'm going to keep very close to the left here, but I'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> destination which is hopefully um, it's called the balcony walk um, along the rim of the Grand Canyon of Oman. Welcome to part 12 of our Oman road trip. This episode takes us deep into the Hajar mountains. Today we're off to the infamous W6 balcony walk hike. Starting from the village of Al Katain that wends its way along the steep sides of Oman's Grand Canyon and takes you to the abandoned village of Assab. Stick around as we share the adventure. Is an easy hike or an appointment with death that only a fool would attempt? Just arrived on the rim of the Grand Canyon. Wow. Pretty far down. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Wow. Okay, so we're now at Jebel Shams, ready to uh, hike down into the Grand Canyon of Oman. Um, how do you feel about it? Yeah, looking forward to it. It should be some stunning views. So let's get cracking. Not being a great fan of heights, I think Em was a bit apprehensive about the walk. That's because we'd read quite a few accounts that described what seemed to be a narrow, precipitous path where one wrong move could lead you to plunging to the canyon floor far below. So, could this be Oman's most dangerous hike? It was probably not as dangerous as the local inhabitants. Please call for help, we're surrounded by unruly goats. Unscrupulous goats who want to take us for everything we've got. Hi! <laughs> Very good. What have you got to say for yourself, Mr. Goat? No? Right, we've arrived at the start of the W6. W6. Balcony walk. Ah. But we need to uh, have some coffee to build up some strength. Can we get one iced coffee? Ice, yes, one. And one. Just Americano with a little bit of milk? Small milk. Small milk. Yeah. Okay. And this you'll be it. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first up close view of the canyon, really. Pretty impressive stuff. Yeah, amazing. Certainly a long way down. Mr. Goat is why? <laughs> why? Well, there's nothing to eat. 
Crazy. Plenty of other people on this walk today. Being one of Oman's probably best known hikes. Anyone uh, who's it's about doing this right but doesn't like hiking. Like me. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering whether it's for them, to be honest. For the most part, I'm to this point anyway, it's, it's absolutely fine. It's an really wide path with no steep drop. So unless your fear of heights is absolutely chronic, then don't let that put you up committed. Built by. Is that right, Em? Well, I'm going to keep very close to the left here, but I'll make it. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Looks like we found the village. So this is the abandoned village of Asap. And it lo looks like it starts right here. <laughs> And this first one here, it looks like it's you know, pretty much 100% intact. Yeah. So it looks ancient, but apparently it was inhabited in, until the 1970s. Which is incredible. Nice sheltered spot. I mean, you can see why they picked it with this big overhang. check one of these places out. These buildings are still owned and lots of the sort of relatives of the people who lived here still live in the villages in this area. So, um, and they come here from time to time. further around the corner from the village is this little area and they've got um, terrace fields that they've made where they've grown their various crops and at other times of year presumably they're flowing water down here but right now it looks pretty bone dry but this was their entire world I suppose the people who lived here yeah
Well, here we are. We've reached the end of our walk. The balcony walk down to the abandoned village of Assab. So, what happens next? Oh, now we've got to walk back. <laughs> now we've got to walk back. And there's all, all the change ingredient is uphill. Yeah. Um, it's Sadly. funny. It doesn't look at all credible that there's a, actually a fairly steady path up and around that lot, but there certainly is. Let's go and get it over and done with. Let's do it. Right, we're almost at the end of the balcony walk. How long did that take us? It's just under three hours, so um, probably about an hour to get there, half an hour having a look at the uh, ancient village, and then obviously a little bit longer to get back because it is mostly uphill and a bit challenging. Yeah, there's a couple of steep sections you don't really notice on the way down, but it's not that long overall, so um, yeah, brilliant way to see the Grand Canyon. Yeah, definitely. Right, it's time for a drink and snack. Yeah, a Luke. <laughs> a Luke warm, Luke cold. <laughs> Soft drink. Everything's Luke warm in our, in our vehicle. So that was the balcony walk hike. It's an easy hike, it only takes a couple of hours, and in my opinion, it's not at all dangerous. You're never forced to go near any genuinely steep edges, and in fact, most of the time, you're walking across fairly easy angled slopes. So thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe because next time we accidentally find ourselves in what may be Oman's most beautiful village. Join us then. Right, we're up in the Jebel. I don't know what to say. Great. So, we're at the Grand Canyon of Oman, aren't we? Wadi Ghul and uh, Wadi Mac... Bugger. <laughs>